A foolish. You know,
There are many people who are facing a lot of problems and a lot of challenges. I really do not know if somebody has ever thought about those people who rely on wages, those people who rely on the kibaruas, they eat from uh, hand to mouth, they live on less than a dollar per day. These are the people who are now suffering. I can see in the county of Baringo, there are many people without food right now. People have been told to stay at home. People have been told to quarantine and stay somewhere without moving. So there is a lot of problems in terms of food. People are suffering. And I, I really want to ask the county government plus the national government to consider the way they will supply food to those people who are suffering. I also want to urge our, our people who are working uh, in other places like Nairobi, Nakuru, everywhere, those who are in diaspora, to think about people at home. Uh, many people now are staying at home. They are not working. They are not getting any payment. Even those people who are employed, they are, they are already being uh, told to go home because there are no businesses anymore. So the only thing that is going to kill people now is not even corona itself. It is the starvation. People are starving. They don't have food. They should come up with a strategy on how they will supply food. Uh, we have already donated uh, maize. Uh, I've donated maize as a person, like 10 bags, to be taken to the vulnerable groups, to be given to the children's home. But that is not enough. It is just like a drop in the ocean. We need other stakeholders. We need other people, well-wishers, to donate food. We need to be given a central place, like the chief's place, because the chiefs understand the people who are staffing. They know the situation of their sublocation and locations, so that we can take this food to a central point, like the chief's office, and the chief can be able to, to distribute this food without necessarily calling people, congesting people, so that they can avoid also the spread of this, uh, the, this virus. So we need the leaders to come out. Leaders have also gone quarantine. They have kept quiet. They have just assumed everything is normal. Things are not normal. People are suffering. 
and they are really suffering. People are, star they are I'm sure the people are about to die of starvation. I was looking at the social media and I saw children who have really neutralized. They are so thin, they are suffering. There is no water, there is no food, there is no movement. So we are asking the government to come up very fast with a strategy. I was just shocked the other day when the president said that he's giving the musician 100, uh, 100 million shillings. Uh, it is so shocking that uh, the musicians are given money and there are people who are dying of hunger. They don't even need music, they don't need to listen to the songs, they just want food. So I just want to tell the president to rethink again, maybe they had that money instead of giving them to the artist, he should give them to the people who are staffing, people who do not have food at the moment.